Good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just woke up. In today's video we are going to learn how to calm down. <laughs> okay so right off the bat we are in the key of D major, which means we have two sharps. F sharp, my piano is broken. F sharp and C sharp. <laughs> and the tempo is I don't know, so let's check that. FL Studio to the rescue. I love my candle, but it's always in the way. Okay, so apparently the tempo is 85 beats per minute, not 86 like normal people's, just 85. Okay, so uh, first thing is print the sheet music, the PDF, it should be in the description below. I haven't printed one yet, so I'm going to do that now. 20. Okay, one sheet music later, down you go. Okay, so let's take a look at the introduction. Remember we are in the key of D major so we have two chords. We have the D major chord. Oh, nothing's happening. So we have our D major chord which is chord number one. Then we have our G chord which is chord number four. So for the entire intro we just have two chords and we only have two notes. How about that? One, two, three, four. So that's it for the intro basically. Now the verse I'm playing the exact same thing just with the added bass line, D in the bass. Realize this G clef has an 8 on the bottom which means we just play an octave lower and then we repeat the verse and then the second time you just shift instead of playing a D you play an A. So instead of I want you to play then we shift an octave up to the bridge. I have open chords in the left hand and then just the bass line in the right hand. And then we get to the chorus. My right hand is a D major chord in first inversion. Okay, that means I play the normal D major chord but I put the D on top. So now we have the first inversion. Okay, so what on earth is happening there? Okay, so that last four notes is actually chord five, which is A major, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm, oh, but what I'm doing is I'm suspending the fourth note, okay? Here's A major, okay? But I'm playing the fourth note, and I'm suspending that it wants to resolve to the third note. And I'm playing it in the second inversion, so here's A, there's the first inversion, there's the second inversion. But instead of playing the C sharp, I'm actually playing a D. Because it wants to resolve down to the C sharp. Three and four and. Okay? Three and four and. Alright, and then we're back to our normal four chord, which is G major. One, two. Okay, so let's take a look at that last bar. It's again five sustained four. All right, nothing new. Instead of resolving down to the second inversion, I'm resolving to the root chord, all right? So it's five sustained four, back to root, and then back to D major. 
also in first inversion. Ha! Uh -huh. 